Chronix with it, another one I need. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to create uh, your actions for skin retouching. Uh, basically, your frequency separation actions for this case to quicken or fasten your skin retouching process in just Photoshop. So, in this tutorial, I'm not going to be giving you guys uh, the action. I want you guys to create your own actions because uh, when you create something, you always know how to create it. Uh, by yourself in case you uh, lose lose it and you can't find it maybe on a different computer so this story is basically about to show you how to you can create your own frequency separation action to fasten your skin retouching process so usually in order to create an action you have to come right we have this option right here and you have this action option and if at all you don't have it right here you can simply come to window and you can come to actions and you'll have the actions panel right here. So in order to create the actions, we have these options right below here. So in order to create the action, we have, this is more of uh, a folder that is going to be containing your actions. So this is the folder and we have the play button, we have uh, this option right here for beginning to record the action then we have the stop button and we have maybe uh, the one for creating the new action and we have here you can just delete an action so these are options we are going to be using for creating the actions so basically I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a 16-bit action and an 8-bit action so that you can work best and have the best results for your skin retouching so usually in order to create an action i'm going to start by coming and clicking on this folder icon so under the folder icon you have to name maybe your action so for this case since i already have my actions already in photoshop i'm going to name this maybe a tutorial like that uh, so this is going to be a folder where my actions are going to be stored i'm going to hit ok so you can see it has already created that for me. So when you're done creating the folder, just simply come right here and click or select uh, on this icon to create a new action. So you're going to name that a uh, new action. You can name it frequency separation. And if at all, you're going to be doing 8-bit first fs 8 bit so let me just put bit in small letters so i'm going to this is the set where the uh, action is going to be stored so you can as well assign a function key for your action so that when you just click that function key maybe if i use f1 so if i use shift and f1 it means uh this 8 bit action is going to be playing for uh, the skin retouching so you can as well even use command or whichever keys you have right here then you can now even come and assign a color for it like that then when you're done doing so simply come and hit record and when you hit record you're going to notice that this icon is going to start turning into uh, a red one meaning the action has already started recording so remember we are on our background and for frequency separation to be effective when if I come and I close that, for frequency separation to be active, you have to create two layers by hitting that. Then come right here and you're going to name that low. And you're going to name this high. So this is going to contain our colors and our skin tones and the high frequency is going to contain the textures. So Come and deactivate the high frequency layer and uh, select your low frequency layer. So we only want to remain with the skin tones or the colors in the image. So we are simply going to come to filter and come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So since we are creating an 8-bit uh, action first, so uh, you shouldn't mind about this radius because I'm going to be showing you guys how you can always have a new radius so this uh, is not going to matter but whenever you come to this 
step when your action is playing make sure you move uh, this radius uh, to a point whereby the skin in the image all the details on the skin are starting to disappear so for this case let's just go uh, with 7.8 so we are going to hit and uh, now come you can see that every step we are doing is being recorded right here under the actions you can see we have everything so if at all uh, now we want our action to uh, stop playing at this given stage or this given step so when you want it to stop playing so that you can feed in whichever radius you want you can simply come and click right here so the action is going to uh, stop at this very point so that you can uh, choose the right radius for or you can uh, remove the textures or blur them out using the Gaussian blur. So when you when it stops playing, we have now to continue, of course. Come to the high frequency layer and now activate it. Then come to image and come to apply image. So since we are first of all creating a, an action for an 8-bit image, I'm just going to close that. So for an 8-bit image, you have to always make sure you come and select the low frequency layer because we want to subtract the textures from the low frequency layer. Then come and change the blending mode from uh, whichever may be there and change it to subtract. So make sure the opacity is 100. The scale is 2 and offset 128. Then make sure invert is not checked or marked. And when you do that, you're going to notice that your textures are going to be on this gray kind of layer. So this is for an 8-bit image and I'm going to be showing you guys the 16-bit image. So for an 8-bit image, these are the settings. Uh, you select the low frequency layer, blending mode, change it to subtract, opacity 100, scale is 2, offset 128. Make sure these two options are not checked and invert is also not checked and your preview, make sure it is on and simply hit OK. And if at all you are creating an action for a 16-bit image, Simply come and select low frequency layer and change the blending mode uh, to add. Make sure opacity is 100. Uh, preserve transparency is not checked and the mask is not also not checked. Make sure the scale is now 2 and offset at 0. So the difference is basically on the blending. So a 16-bit difference is uh, the blending is add and an 8-bit image, the blending is subtract. So the scale for a 16-bit image is 2 and the offset is 0. So for a 16-bit image, always make sure that you check or invert this option and you have the textures on this gray kind of layer. So since we are dealing with an 8-bit image, you're just going to come and change this to subtract. Make sure invert is not checked. Scale is 2, offset 128 and the opacity is 100%. Make sure that the preview is on and simply hit OK. So we are having our textures on this gray kind of layer. Therefore, we are going to simply come to the blending mode and change it from normal and we are going to come to a linear light. So we are going to get back the image the way it was initially before. But for those that have seen me doing my skin retouching, I usually add a black and white layer in my group of frequency separation. So I'm going to select these two uh, layers the low frequency and the high frequency layer and I'm just going to hit ctrl or command G on the keyboard ctrl or command G G for girl or you can simply drag them and drop them to this folder icon put them in a group and you're going to name that group frequency separation so usually uh, for those that use the frequency separation for a mixer brush tool I would prefer you come and select the high frequency layer and incorporate or put a black and white layer inside of your frequency separation group so come the adjustments and create a black and white adjustment layer and you can simply uh, come and darken it slightly so that you can have a starting point for your retouching so when you're done doing so you can as well even come and uh, select your mixer brush tool and when you're done selecting uh, we can uh, we can now leave this so when you're done doing that, it means that you have already created your action, but that is not the end. You can now come right to this actions panel 
and you come and stop your action from playing so that it can be saved. So I'm just going to hit stop playing or stop recording just like that and the action is going to be saved so if at all i'm um, to scroll up and i close that so when you drop down you're going to see everything we have in the action so i'm going to close this then i'm going to come and i'm just going to delete this so i want to see if at all our action has been uh, successfully saved so remember the shortcut we used uh, was shift and f1 for this action so we have the options right here so if i told i hold down shift and i click on f1 it is going to automatically uh, play our action and if i told you don't want to use that shortcut for uh, your retouching you can simply come under the actions and hit or select it then when, when you make sure it is selected or highlighted simply click on the play button and remember what I told you, at this point it stops so that you can uh, put in or you can move this radius until, depending on the image you have, you can easily change this radius until you're losing out on the textures, depending on the image you're retouching. And when you're done doing that, just simply hit OK and the action will play. And for this case, it has even automatically selected for me my a mixer brush tool and everything is already set so i can just start retouching right from this first step so this is how you can create your frequency separation actions or any other action that is going to help you fasten or quicken your skin retouching process in photoshop and if at all you love this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from Ronnie's photography and I'll see you in yet the next one and don't forget to keep practicing use these actions and fasten your skin retouching in Photoshop and keep creating